Aloha, crafters. This is Mona for another Shabby Chic DIY Gifts. We are turning a wine bottle into a lamp. I bought the tiny lampshade from Lowe's. The cork is connected to an LED light. And I used some trim to decorate it. The second DIY is a picture box frame that I got from the Dollar Tree that I made it Shabby Chic. And the last one would be a scrap wood that I turned a nativity scene ornament into a frame. Let's get started with the first DIY. The LED light cork, the Amazon site for the cork, the lampshade that I bought from Lowe's, and here we go. Take your wine bottle, take any wine bottle that you have, and what I did is I added the jute rope around the stem of the wine bottle. And the reason why I did that, I wanted to make sure that the lampshade clip would hold on to that rope part of it. You're not really gonna see it because the lampshade is over it, but you still wanna decorate it anyway. The hot glue that I use is always the Gorilla brand because I feel like it holds better. Here is the LED light that I bought from Amazon. They come in actually a pack and you can look on the website and you can see how many comes in a pack. And all I did was unstring it and then I pushed it into the wine bottle. Next I had in my stash this applique and I liked this little heart that was in the applique so I just cut around it and I put it on the stem on top of the jute. This next part, I am putting some crochet lace and some other cotton crochet lace around the wine bottle, but the angle that I took the picture was wasn't very good. So here are pictures of close up of what I was doing. So you can see. I took some of the cheesecloth that I had and I wrapped it around the wine bottle. I measured it to see how much I would need and I cut it off and I laid it down and I used some Mod Podge to adhere it down. I cut the excess off and I waited until the Mod Podge dried. I thought maybe the cheesecloth itself was a little bit too light. So what I was going to do was ending up just coffee staining it but it didn't really work because I was too impatient. So I used some of the spray that you see here on the screen. And I ended up just spraying it on the actual wine bottle. I don't have very good pictures of that, but every once in a while you'll see that I'm spraying something and I'm spraying it on the wine bottle instead. I was spraying it on the cloth just to see how the color would look. I wanted to put a little message on my wine bottle. So I just took some muslin or some cotton sheeting and I tore it up. I used my Cricut machine and I typed in, enjoy the little things in life for one day you'll look back and you realize that they were big things. So that's what I did. When I originally wrapped around the burlap around the wine bottle, I didn't like the way the spacing that I did. So there's not gonna be footage on that part of it, but I just corrected it here, that I had to take some of it apart and redo it. And then basically I am just looking at um, the little cotton sheeting uh, torn pieces that I wrote, and I'm kind of just laying it down there. How am I gonna do it? So once I was done laying out these words, I turned the bottle around. I didn't like how I did not continue on the cotton sheeting torn pieces. So I am correcting all of that. I added it all around the bottle. I corrected everything. I stood back. I looked at it and see what was missing or what doesn't look right. Um, and I usually do take things apart, it's just my nature. When I think something doesn't look right, I'll add on to it, correct it, sometimes start over with a certain portion of a project and I'll try to fix it. And that's what I'm doing here. 
I added more of the burlap going around and then adding more of the trim and fixing how it wrapped around. So I had to pull it up, re-glue it. And that's what it takes, I guess, to make sure that you like your project. I'll be cutting more of the cotton sheeting to continuing onto the back and also to cover up some of the seams that I added onto the burlap. I had this bag of brass buttons. I believe it's a four hole button. And since I had the bag of buttons, why not? I felt like it needed that. It needed the extra metal into the shabby chic look. So I added that onto where it needed. There were some portions of the cheesecloth that were ripped that was missing. So I covered it up. So wherever it needed, wherever I felt like it needed the trim, I just ended up putting it on there. Here's a chart of the trims that I used in the measurements. There's the bottle without the lampshade and on to DIY number two, Dollar Tree picture box. I took the picture box apart, used some acetone nail remover and cotton balls and basically just rubbed it all off, cleaned it up. Next, I will be getting some scrapbook paper to put it on the background. I'll give you a close up of the brand of the scrapbooking paper that I used. I used this paper before on another project that you probably saw the tutorial, but here it is. Next, again, would be using some leftover crochet trim that was on the same as the wine bottle. And I'm just attaching it to the top and the bottom. And I found these little pearl flower clusters that were cute. Next, we'll be working in the inside of the box and I'm laying some dried flowers and putting it on there. Then I'm using my Cricut machine and I'm adding the words, when you let go, you create space for better things to enter into your life. See right there. Hope you like it so far. Add a jute bow when you're done. You just have to attach it back to the back. Add the bow when you're done with that one. DIY number three, using scrap wood nativity scene. I actually copied this music sheet from the internet because I didn't have any more scrapbook paper with music. So I used this one. And I used my Distress ink to grunge it up a little bit. I have this ornament that's a nativity scene and I took it apart to use it for this project. I went in my backyard. I have a fencing scrap in the back. I cut it down to what I needed. I added a Waverly paint. I didn't put it on very good and that's how I wanted it. I put Mod Podge on the back of the music sheet, glued it on. I needed the gable to be lifted so both the animals in the back could be on the back scene. So I needed to find something so then the gable would not be flat on my wood piece. So I found this little cardboard box in my craft room and I used that. And what I did is I ended up gluing that on. I had this moss bag for a long time. I never used it. Came in handy for today's project though. I added a raffia bow in the corner and you are done with this project. I really hope you enjoyed this video of all three of these DIY gifts. I hope you stay tuned for more DIYs for next week. If you find my tutorials inspirational, please hit the subscribe and the like button, and I will see you soon. Aloha!